You know, if I serve you breakfast in bed, just be thankful. I'm so tired of people saying, who are you and how did you get in my house? Guys, last week we did uh, these really cool inlaid dovetails, but I want to take it a step further. I want to do it where the line goes all the way around, and I think that would look really cool. So we're going to reverse the order uh, so that one, the thumbnails don't look the same, but two, I think putting the wangi in between the zebra wood will create like a really cool sort of shadow negative space look and give it like a really 3D feel. So I think that's going to be really fun. Um, we have some amazing dovetail instructional videos. I have a, uh, I'll link them all up here on the left or your right hand upper corner here. Uh, comprehensive guide to dovetails. We've got inlaid dovetails, half blind dovetails, houndstooth dovetails. I'm going to make a dovetail playlist. There are absolutely a million tips and tricks in there that will really help you with your dovetails. There's going to be a lot of repeated steps in this. We're going to kind of montage through some parts, but if you're looking for great instruction on dovetails, I highly suggest you check out this playlist. It's really, really helpful. So um, let's get into it. We're going to start by cutting a rabbit into our pin board, uh, and that's what's going to create that line that goes all the way around. And then we're going to go ahead and cut our tails, mark it into the rabbited pin board, and then flush trim that off, and then recut our half blinds again with that inlay. So uh, let's get right into it over at the table saw. So we're gonna want our inlay to be an eighth inch around. So we're gonna use eighth inch as our measurement. And so that is going to be the depth of our rabbit because that's what's going to create the outline of the tails. So uh, as I've said in many videos, any good ruler should have indents at all the measurements so you can use it to set your marking gauge. So you can just put it right in that indent, pull it right up to your piece there and set that. And so what we're going to do, I've labeled my faces so that way the grain matches. So when they go, it'll kind of look more like a grain wrap. So we're just going to set that as an eighth inch. This would be a good time to also mark out your eighth inch here because that's how deep you're going to want to go with your half blinds. It'll keep those lines really consistent. So you can do it on both sides there. And then you wanna come down your side just a little bit because that's gonna help with tear out with your saw blade. And then we're going to go down the depth of our tailboard here. And that's really easy, just set it like that. So let's cut out the rabbit and head back over to the bench. Okay, so now this gets really easy because we already made our layout line for the back of our pin board. All we have to do is set our marking gauge in it and we can just adjust right to it. Last week I posted a link to this marking gauge and it sold out so fast. So I'll link it again. Make sure you check and see if they're still sold out. I hope they're not. I'm thinking I might start carrying these in my store because people seem to really like this marking gauge. All right, so I've set my depth for my tails. So we're gonna mark that just all the way around on our tail board. And if you're ever having trouble with your marking gauge, a good way to hold it is in between these two fingers and that allows you to get a better reference area. And you can even put your thumb on the edge here and that sometimes helps if you're having difficulty getting your marking gauge to go in a straight line, but can really help. We're gonna mark the outsides of our board here. And we're gonna get to marking out some tails and cutting them out. So now we're gonna go ahead and mark out our tails 
onto our pin board and we're gonna use this dovetail alignment board. This is the fancy one I made, I have a video on it. But I also sell them on my website. I have these ones that I make on the CNC and I just redesigned them, they are awesome. And they just come like this and they just fit perfectly into each other and they're super, super accurate because they're made on the CNC. So everything lines up and then you have these little fences that go on there and you just glue it together and then you have your own super accurate dovetail alignment board and they're only like 15 bucks on my website. So uh, there's a link down below, go pick these up. Okay, so now we've got our first set glued up. It's looking really good. And what we need to do is flush trim off our wangi. That's going to give us a line like this. Uh, so then we can do our layout. And what's gonna be important for our layout is like I talked about, we're gonna mirror this eighth inch here. So we're gonna lay it out carefully on our next board using our marking knife. Uh, so let's get this flush trimmed off and we want to make sure when you flush trim that it is perfectly level and that there's no errors on the side. You can see here I'm, I uh, am off by like 1 28th or something. It's very, very small, but I'm going to make sure to flush that up. And you need to make sure that if you're going to take anything off the edge anywhere that you do it to your other board too. So it's, it's the same width. So I like to do that on the table saw. We'll take a very, very, very light skim pass. Uh, but then you just essentially make sure that your board is still perfect. So uh, let's get this cleaned up and ready for our second set of pins and tails. So now we need to identify our inlay, how thick it's gonna be. Like I said, we're gonna go for an eighth. So that should be exactly a quarter inch from the top because the first inlay is an eighth. And then we're gonna go another eighth, which is a quarter. So we're gonna set our marking gauge. And like I've said before, indents in your ruler are great for setting a marking gauge. So now we have our depth line there and we need to identify that same line on this board. So what we can do is reset our marking gauge using that line. So since this is gonna be a tail board, we're gonna go all the way around. Now we need to set the depth down that we're going on this, which is the depth of your board. And that's only gonna be on this face. So now it's time to lay out our tails. And what we're gonna do uh, to make this really easy on ourselves is we are going to identify the place we're gonna do it on this board and mark it on this board. We're gonna do that at the same time. And so what you wanna do is you make sure you have your two faces facing the same way, and then you're gonna put them in your vise, making sure that they are completely parallel and square to each other. That's really easy to do. I like to use the screw in my vise to get this side set up, and then you just take them and maneuver them around a little bit. Okay, so now this part's real easy. All you have to do is go in since we're doing an eighth, we're gonna go in an eighth of an inch from the exact side at the tops of our tails. And that's because this board is gonna turn 90 degrees. Here's the tops of the tails. They're gonna eventually be in this orientation. So you simply take your marking knife and then a square, slide it up to your marking knife, and then just mark your tailboard. Same thing here, just an eighth. Whoops. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of our board.
Wow, guys, this came out really cool. And I think compared to last week's, I really like the way that it goes around a little bit better. And uh, zebra wood and wangi is always such a great combination. Uh, if I would do anything differently, I think I'd make these pins, the first pin smaller. I honestly just mismeasured. I was going for an eighth, but I did a quarter for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Um, and then I had one mistake with the router when I was doing it. It jumped on me and I, I got a little bit more, but it was a very, very small amount. I was able to fill it with some sawdust and glue. So all in all, I'm really happy with this. I think it's going to be time to do some double inlaid half blinds. I think we could do something really ridiculous with this. So uh, let me think about it. We got some really cool videos coming up. I have this uh, Breaking Bad coffee maker, which is either coming out next week or it came out last week. I'm not quite sure when this video is going to come, but uh, either way, check it out. It's going to be really, really cool. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe in the shop and have a wonderful day.